Hey guys, Second Mentor with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys the top 10 hidden useful tip of iOS 15. You guys might have already watched a bunch of videos with the hidden tips of iOS 15, but we picked out these 10 specifically as we find these are the most helpful ones that you can actually utilize on your day-to-day -day basis and really make and make the most out of these top 10 hidden iOS 15 tip for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to talk about, it's going to be around Safari. There's a lot of changes that came with iOS 15 on the Safari, as you know. And the first biggest thing you probably have noticed is that the bar down there. Again, this is one thing I found quite annoying because the bar is down there when I'm reaching. You know, my mind kind of kept on going up to the top. Well, now you can actually move that bar on the top if you want to. So to do that, you're going to first have to just simply go on a website. So it doesn't matter what website it is, just get to a website. And then once you get there, you want to click on those two A's down there. Once you hit that two A's there, now you have the option to actually show the the address bar on the top by simply clicking on that option. And now you have that ability to have that URL address bar up top again simple and easy and you can always move it down in the bottom back again by simply clicking on those A's if you wanted to do that so that's going to be one thing the next thing you're going to want to do along with that is that if you wanted to uh, refresh a page you can now simply swipe down it will automatically reload that page so that's a bonus tip of safari we'll come back to safari in a little bit later but the next tip we want to share with you guys that's hidden feature that you want to take advantage of it's going to be around being able to scan text so again if you have a text somewhere and you don't want to write it out let's say we have this shopping list here we're going to scan that text over to do that all we have to do is simply press and hold again you're going to press and hold and then look for these this icon here click on that icon here and now put your camera on that icon here and it's going to start picking up whatever it sees in that lens right there. As you can see here, it picks it up depending on how you do it and you're good to go. And once you're done, you just hit done or insert. So let's go ahead and do that and hit that insert. And now we have that text here. Of course, this one's a little bit messy here, but you get the idea there. Okay, so moving on to third hidden feature that's useful on iOS 15, it's gonna be notification for your weather app. So imagine you're driving or walking outside or simply wanna know what the weather is gonna be like or if you want it to be notified whenever there's snow or ice or even any kind of precipitation like rain just happening outside. Well, now you can actually do that by going into your weather apps. And once you get to your weather app, now you can go ahead and click on these three icons up top here. So you're most likely gonna be over here. You wanna click on those, that menu down here and then click on these three icons. And then you'll notice this feature of notification. You wanna go click on that notification. And then you're gonna to wanna to hit continue here. So once you hit continue, it's gonna say, do you want to allow whether to get, send you notification and allow that and once you allow that you have the option to do your current location so you need to make sure that your uh, location service is on so whenever you're driving and such you can have it turned on and it will pick up whenever there is weather changes and give you a notification or any of the location that you selected let's say we wanted to do new work here we can do that for new work and have it notify us once there is any change. So if there's change to rain, snow, sleet, ice, whatever the forecasted weather is, it's gonna send you a notification that is happening. Again, good to know whenever you're traveling and such. All right, moving on to the fourth hidden tip that is gonna be really useful for you to know is gonna be around your photos and videos. So as you know, whenever you take a photo or video, it's gonna be, be there for you and now let's say we want more information out of that photo and video to get more information out of that you can simply now slide your finger up and you'll notice more information that is available for it for example what kind of lens you used to take it what kind of photo was for example this was a screenshot at the time stamp and also the name of the image and you can adjust that as well so let's say you wanted to adjust the time zone or maybe when you took it all of that you can adjust as well on it and there's more information you can get what type of photo there was so let's move on to let's say maybe a video here that we want to know we can simply click it up here and you can see here this was a screen recording and 
the type here and what kind of frames per second was utilized on this play again really useful again let's go ahead and click on another picture same thing flip it up it shows you timestamp here what kind of camera we used here this was used on iphone 13 pro and some more information again helpful and you can also add a location or if you have location services on by default it's going to show you where you took that photo really in good information coming out of it and glad apple has done that moving on to the next hidden tip for you guys that you want to know it's going to be around text so let's say you are on an app and the texts are really small compared to everywhere else and you want those texts to be bigger now you can actually have it be able to adjust the size of the text by simply having a control center option that you can enable to do that you want to go into settings and this time you're going to go to control center and once you go to the control center you're going to go all the way down here and then look for text size click on that plus green icon here and now it's been added here to our list of controls here as you can see those double a are going to be for our size now let's move back over to the news app and let's say we want our text to be bigger we can simply hold and then you can select it for that only news app or all apps let's say only for that application that you have let's make it bigger and now hop over here and you should see now it is bigger by simply clicking on that here you can do that or simply again go back here make it bigger zoomed in and now you'll notice your text is much bigger on this news app for reading so and then you can always come back here change it back to the way you want it the next time you want to do that so again really cool to do something really helpful as well so but it is going to be enabled whenever you do that so moving on to number six for the hidden feature that you might want to know it's going to be around uh, do not disturb feature while you're driving and texting and driving is never a good idea so one one thing you want to do is go over hop over to settings once you hop over to settings you want to go into focus mode as you know focus mode is a big feature coming out with iOS 15 now what you can do is actually enable a focus mode whenever you are driving so you want to do that by clicking on that plus icon and then have driving and then turn that on and then you can enable things like where you want people to call you from allow people while you're driving and other calls that you don't want you can add those people in here or you can simply select none here and then autofocus here you can turn this on while you're driving and hit done here and then after that what you want to do is under auto reply here what you want to do is that if you want the phone to simply auto reply you can have a custom message for example here this is the custom message that will send to your favorite contact if they sent you a text while you're driving by saying simply you're driving that you need to be focused on and can't look at the message and they'll get that idea again this is a crucial area if you want to auto send them that message and that will reply for you so you don't have to your message will still come through and you can respond once you're not driving but a focus mode now allows you to be able to do that now while we're driving we can just activate that or it'll automatically update if you have your location services on and it picks up that you are driving moving on to hidden tip number seven on ios 15 that is useful for you which is going to be background image on your safari application so if you open up safari one more time now this time we're going to go ahead and go down all the way at the bottom here and by default you see it's sort of white no no real taste creativity there on well now you can hit that edit button and go down here and see background image by default there's a couple options you can do you can select one of these so let's say we want to select this one here and then go back here and now as you can see our background on the safari application is more colorful you can also go ahead and pick one from your photos as well from your album if you want to get creative and custom with it again neat feature of safari with the updates with the uh, menu bars and the tab that comes through with ios 15. now let's move on to hidden number uh, eight tip for you guys which is going to be drag and drop between your applications of any sort of media that you have let's look up 
pictures of cat here because you know cats are cool so we want to click on a picture of a cat here and let's say we want to copy and paste it somewhere else to so send it to someone so we can simply press and hold and then close out the application and then open up another one here so let's say we want to drag and drop here again this is going to be a little bit of art but you want to get out of the app to get out the app open up your app that you want and then place it right there and as you see here we just added a cat picture to our notes here that we typed out or we scanned before now let's move on to number 10 for you guys in most useful hidden tip on iOS 15 which is going to be translation so with the major update that Apple has done with their software update is now being able to translate much more information so let's say we want to highlight a text here let's par highlight this text and we want to translate here we can simply select all which allow us to go ahead and click on that arrow here and then hit that translate option and then you can translate again here it's right now it's not available let's try a little different text here sometimes you might have to do a little text at a time depending on how you do it so let's go ahead and do that let's go select now click on it one more time hit that select option and as you can see it just selected and then it's going unavailable but you get the idea here and that's how you're going to use that translate option and lastly the hidden tip number 10 feature that you want to pretty much check out and this is going to be something really important and something we discovered with iOS 15 that's going to be really useful is going to be around the Safari application if you go into Safari in your settings and then go over hop over there and look at the settings that you have you'll notice there's a new feature known as hide IP address if you click on that by default it might be turned off or might be on tracker here so when you want to hide your IP again which you should always do if you want to be sort of incognito whenever you're browsing on Safari you want to go and click the option for hide your IP from trackers and website you may also see another one that says website if you have it turned off it won't hide your IP so someone if you're browsing on a website can actually gather information about your IP so make sure that is turned on again a privacy improvement Apple has done we think is going to be really helpful and useful for you and something you want to always make sure that is turned on by default as a feature so hopefully these top 10 useful hidden tips on iOS 15 you guys found useful want to hear from you guys if you have one that you thought is really useful that's a hidden features of iOS 15 leave a comment in the comment section and if this video is helpful please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching see you guys next time